We have archives of meteorological data that go back 100 years or more. In some cases, these can be continuous daily observations of things like temperature and precipitation, and the wealth of information that we get from them are invaluable to climate scientists around the world. It's from these data that we first learned our planet is steadily warming. But the problem with observational records are that they tend to be restrictive in two ways. So they're not evenly distributed around the planet, and 100 years of observations isn't a long time to be observing the climate system. Major fluctuations in climate differ between regions and happen on thousands of year timescales. If we truly want to understand how climate works, then we need longer records that go back further into the past and more records from around the world. I use the remains of aquatic insects preserved within lake sediments to reconstruct how environments change through time. The family of insects I use are called chronomids. They're a species of aquatic fly that live in lakes and they have a life cycle that's strongly controlled by temperature. Now if we understand how the different species respond to different temperatures, then when we find the specimen preserved, we can predict what the temperature must have been like at the time that it lived. So using this method, we can now generate high resolution climatic data that goes back deep into the past and begin to understand how climate changes in tropical South America.